Would you be happy to work with him? Would you like to work with him if you are prime minister in your new cabinet? Having, having spent time with him this week on foreign affairs, I very, very much suspect that he doesn't, would not want a future role in the government. I think he needs a well-earned break uh, from what has been a very difficult few years. I mean, after all, he was seriously ill with COVID. I mean, we haven't even talked about that. And that was a terrible moment when we didn't know uh, what was going to happen. Uh, he has faced you know, real challenges that no leader would have expected to face you know, the, the appalling war in Ukraine. It's, so I simply don't think that that, that is really an option. Chris, it's, it's not clear, really, what Boris Johnson is going to do. That wasn't quite a, a, a no, was it, in terms of potentially involving him in government? Were he, were he to want to? You were assuming he wouldn't, but he, you're trying to... I really, I really, do, I really don't think it's a, it's a genuine question, Chris. It isn't well, a genuine James question. James Cleverley, the Education Secretary, he's saying, you know, he's one of your supporters. He said today that Boris Johnson is an incredibly talented politician. James Cleverley will be comfortable with him joining your top team if you are, are you? I, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think that, you know, what's done is done. The party has made the decision. I've told you my views of that. I have now put myself forward as a candidate because I think I'm the right person to do the job. And I don't believe that he would want further Can involvement. I, uh, I, I, I can remind you that. I think the answer, simple answer for me is, is no. I think we need to look forward at this point. That's why I want to be Prime Minister. I want to bring the change that this country needs. I think it's incumbent on whoever leads our party going forward to bring everyone back together, actually, and build a team that draws on all the talents and traditions of our fantastic party. You saw some of that in this leadership election. That would be my priority, is to try and unify things. But we've got to go on and deliver on the things that people care about. Uh, as Prime Minister, what marks would you give Boris Johnson out of 10, Ms. Truss? Seven. 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 Rishi Sunak? Uh, you know what, I, my views are clear. When he was great, he was great, and it got to a point where we need to move forward. And what does, what does that mean? Five out, five out of ten? Well, actually, actually, in delivering a solution to Brexit and winning an election, that's a ten out of ten, right? You've got to give the guy credit for that. No-one else could probably have done that. <laughs>